Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna look at our daily technical analysis update of uranium, one of my favorite sectors. Uh, Ella Energy in general is my, my favorite area. Let's jump in, I'll give you my financial opinion. We've got the Sprout Physical Uranium Trust right behind me. Uh, we are chopping on sideways. Uh, we are still above the support line, which is the blue line underneath. We're getting a little bit of a of a resistance line forming, and hopefully we can break this to the upside and close above it. That would be bullish. Looking at URNM, URNM getting a little bit of a wick at the top. I thought we were going to be off to the races today, but uh, fooled me, I guess. Small down day, you know, nothing's really broken here. Let's see if the buyers return tomorrow. Um, all we got to do is call them in. It's like, psh, buyers come back to URNM. Psh, uh, aisle six, I think, is where the buyers are at. So hopefully we can get the buyers to step back in here, uh, push this thing higher. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Uh, I'm not giving up on it. We are still above this resistance support line, which is now a support line. Looking at Bannerman, good old Banny. Uh, I still think we're going higher. Still looks good. We had a little bit of a bloody nose. Uh, maybe it's a bloody forehead. How about that? Because it's right at the top of the uh, the head of the other candlestick. So it's a bloody forehead is what I'm calling this one. Uh, but let's see if the buyers come in tomorrow, push it higher. That's still a bullish engulfing pattern that we had yesterday in Bannerman. A little bit of a sell-off today in, in Goviax. We ended basically flat, up 0.37%. Uh, very volatile day today. Uh, still looking good. We're still above that support line. Let's see if the buyers are still lurking in the background tomorrow. Global Atomic small down day. Uh, I like the big up day. I like the smaller down day. Usually a sign that we can continue higher if the buyers choose to push us higher. Forces Metals. May the forces be with all of us. Uh, we were up today. That's good in a down uh, uranium sector market. It's always good to be the strong, the strong guy. We are above the resistance line, so that's good as well. So now we've got that as a support line. Looking at uh, Pierpoint Uranium, uh, opened up quite dramatically, closed a little bit lower, but still an up day. Still looking okay. Uh, I do think we might do a little bit of a retest or a little bit lower before heading higher. Uh, Deep Yellow, a little bit of a down day today, closing the gap, getting that gap closed. Can't have those gaps, right? And then hopefully, uh, hopefully the buyers step in here and show us, show us what's going on. Paladin, a little bit of a small down day today. Very volatile, right above the support line. Still looking okay. Sky Harbor getting a little bit of a sell-off. Again, guys, we're right in the, the meat of a large up day. So we're right above support. I want this thing to run just as much as everyone else. Uh, but it still looks good to do that run if the buyers choose to step in here. There's nothing of a reversal candlestick saying that we can't do it or or that the sellers are in control here. Next gen energy, a little bit of a wick at the top. Momentum's coming down a little bit. We're right at support. Small down day today. Still looking okay. Can Alaska, small down day today. Uh, is this reversing to go lower? It could. We've got a wick at the top here, another wick at the top. There are some sellers up here. Base load, yeah, bearish golfing, we, bearish and golfing. We may head a little bit lower. Uh, we'll see. Depends what the overall sector is doing and market. Um, Fission 3.0 is looking like it wants to head a little bit lower here. Um, we're, we're putting in a, a bearish and golfing pattern, which means we could head lower. Uh, we'll see where this thing ends up. Maybe we do add, end up a little bit lower. I would be a buyer way down here. Uh, if we get that low, I'm going to watch that guy. Uh, fission, well, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to zoom in here. There we go. Uh, this is a bearish piercing pattern, which means we could head lower. Uh, the reversal was strong in this one today, uh, unfortunately, right at the resistance line. So we may come back a little bit and do like a cup before heading higher. CCJ popped higher yesterday, a little bit lower today. We'll see what tomorrow brings us. Uh, there's no huge reversal pattern i mean it is a reversal pattern when you get a wick at the top momentum is heading lower we'll see what tomorrow brings us uh kazatum prom and it tried to run but it got it got slapped in the face by the sellers it was like uh no <laughs> came back down a little bit this is a bearish engulfing pattern man 
We are throwing engulfing patterns left and right, back and forth, all over the place in this sector. Just absolutely slapping each other in the face around these areas between the buyers and the sellers. Peninsula Energy, uh, this one's a bullish engulfing, <laughs> or bullish piercing, sorry. That usually resolves itself upward. And then we got Boss Energy, a little bit of an update today. Not, not too much to really write home there about Lotus Resources, flat day, tried to run, failed. Uh, probably tripped over its own feet or something, I don't know. Uh, Uranium Royalty Corp, uh, we had a nice solid day yesterday. Looked like it was trying to run and then the sellers came in and body slammed it. Uh, we're right back at this support resistance line. We're, we're playing on it. We slammed our face against the wall and then they, they sat on our face when they brought it back below the, the line there, the, the resistance line. Encore Energy has been moving sideways um, so far. Not really much to say there. Uh, energy fuels, small down day, still looks okay if we want to run. If we do have a wick at the top, momentum is heading to the downside a little bit. Same with URG, momentum's heading to lower, but we've got support right underneath it. Uh, UEC, I, they're all showing the same pattern, guys. We were going to run, but the the buyers came or the sellers came in here, slapped us in the face, and said, "No, we're going to go down a little bit." And that's that's what happened. Uh, same with here, right at support, right at support for LEU. Uh, light bridge, a little bit of a sell-off. We're right at that resistance line. Wick at the top. We'll see what happens. Uh, ISO Energy, another wick at the top. Small down day today. Uh, Appia, another wick at the top. Uh, so what this means is if we were to look at this from a one-day perspective, um, I'll show you what this means. Yeah, we don't want to look at the one day of that of that guy. Let's go to ISO Energy. Yeah, that one doesn't look too great either. What the heck? We need more volume, guys. I'll back out here. This is Dennis and Mines DNN. I was going to show you guys something, if I can get it to show up clearly. Another wick at the top here, even though we had a monster day yesterday. Small down day today. Uh, blue Sky Uranium getting the wick at the top. Uh, fission, or no, this is Forum Energy Metals, a little wick at the top, just chopping sideways. Uh, AEC, a little bit of a down day today. We've got Laramide LMRXF, wick at the top. We're right at this resistance line. Uh, let me draw it across here. Trying to break through it. Western Uranium, a little bit of a just sideways chopping action with the wick at the top. Uh, UEXCF, a little bit of a bearish piercing pattern. We could head a little bit lower bouncing off this resistance line. And then Mega Uranium, small little down day with the wick at the top. Um, this, this guy is just coiling up. It's going to go somewhere fast. I think it's going to go higher, but depends what uranium does. So we're getting a little bit slapped around in the face today, guys. Um, we had the momentum yesterday. We came on up, and we're meeting a lot of volatility. We're meeting a market. Uh, the overall market went down lower today. That probably weighed on our sector as well. Uh, does that mean that this run is done? No, it does not mean that. Uh, this run can easily keep going. Uh, I think it highly depends on what the overall market's going to do uh, in the very short term. Uh, these things are very sticky. They're all sticking with each other and where they're going. So if we see the overall markets get kicked in the face tomorrow, um, we could head lower with it. If the markets recover and head on higher, well, we could recover with it as well. Uh, so right now in the beginning, we, we're kind of sticky with everything. There's a lot of leverage in the system. Leverage being people on margin who have bought in stock on margin and, and, and loans. So I, I, I am just sitting in these stocks. They're good value. We know that we have an energy crisis, uh, that we, we've been in one. We are probably going to continue to be in one. And I think the deficits in uranium are going to show themselves at some point. Uh, we are now entering, I think, a kind of a long, you know, the contracting type deals going on with Camco and whatnot are pro probably positive signs. So I, I'm pretty positive on uranium here. I just we just got to wait for the uh, overall market to stop getting kicked in the face, so we can move on higher. With higher interest rates, uh, it's going to put pressure on the overall market. 
eventually those higher rates are going to help these sectors as money rotates over. So the very thing that's holding us down in the short term will be our friend in the long term. If you guys like the analysis, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.